Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. The Buff Worthingtons are getting a little big for their tractor. Um, I tried integrating the flocks yesterday, the day before. Uh, days are starting to run together, but not a big success. I think I still need another week or two for the bus to get a little bigger. Um, I understand they're jockeying for position, pecking order, but it was really hard to watch. We got to give them a little bit more time. We're going to keep them in the same coop separated at night, but during the daytime, the tractor is just, it's too small for them to really run around. So what I'm going to do is uh, I put in some posts and uh, I have a hodgepodge of wire and posts available. And that way those little girls back there have a little better space to run. So this is just a quick video showing the addition of a second run. I'll call it a run. It's not really a true run, but it's going to be big enough that they can get in. It's not going to have any kind of a permanent door. Um, all I'm going to do is I have a couple posts right here that are a little closer together. And the little screen that I used when I was flattening out the garden, I'm just going to use that as a, as a door. Not really a door. Just something leaning against. They're not strong enough to knock it over. I might put like one little latch on it, but just give them a little better opportunity so that those bullies back there can have a little few more weeks to get ready for the new company. Okay, we got one side down. Like I said, I'm just using two posts per side and some chicken wire on the two sides. One down, let's go get the other side. Well, we got both sides and one of the front panels done, so there's one side, two sides, and a front panel. I think I have enough of the chicken wire for the last panel, and that's where the door is, so then I'm going to use the welded wire on the back. I recruited some help in getting the trash, so Michelle is uh, taking the leftover wire and all of the clippings out to the trash. She's also going to go get me a beverage of my choice. Adult beverage. Adult beverage of my choice. I just have water. Yeah, bartender, <laughs> but because um, I only have one panel left. So um, the sides are done and the front is done. There's my door, super ghetto door, but I love it. It's so temporary. It, it's temporary. <laughs> yes. Well, the whole, yeah, the whole thing is just temporary. None of this is staying here. So, but the door, I mean, it's simple. It's on a little hinge. I put, I put a twisty tie or a zip tie top and bottom and on the other side is just some rope holding it up so it's easy enough to get in and out in the morning to put them in and at night to take them out on the back I got to put the uh, different wire because I am out of chicken wire well when I said I really don't have all the materials I really meant it so for the back, I was doing the welded wire that I had behind the coop. And so everything was good, good, good. And then we got right here and I was like, oh crap, I'm short. So I just so happened to have another little piece. And if you can see, real professionally, I took zip ties and put them together but it was enough to get it over to the post and in the middle here I could have used one more post but I did not have enough and I am not about to go spend another five bucks on one so I had a little metal pipe hanging around and that was perfect it's not quite as tall as I would like it but it's stable enough that that uh that fencing is not caving in so we're gonna put the birds in see how it goes the birds are in the new pen, but I forgot that I needed to put the netting over the top for the predators. I don't know what kind of predators it might be, but we went ahead and put some netting. Um, it's a little loose right here so that we can get the gate open and closed, but there's no problem with that. I think the gate worked and the birds look very happy running around. Um, hopefully it works okay. What do you think, Michelle? So Michelle thinks it looks great. Seal of approval. And that is about it. 
that is going to do it. We put up the additional run for the Buff Orpingtons until they get a little bigger for the Golden Comets. It took about two hours total time, uh, two and a half hours, to put the posts in, get the fencing up, get the netting up, and get the birds moved in. All in all, not too bad, and I think it's going to benefit them. Oh, a little chicken fight in the back. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you can. And have a great afternoon.